When it comes time to publish your site, you'll see a blue publish button in the top right hand corner. The very first time you publish your site, you'll need to name the web address. This is typically first name, last name, but needs to be something that's not taken, so you may include a middle initial if needed. You'll note that you can't use capitals or certain uh, symbols in this web address because it's a URL. I also want you to note that the default is anyone in Northwest can view the site. If you click on Manage, you'll see several other options. Typically, that anyone in Northwest can view, except for you may be ready to share outside of the district. Um, and in that case, you can look at the different settings here. So anyone can find and view the published version, or maybe you're not ready to share in Northwest and you just wanna share with specific people, maybe a teacher or a parent. Okay, and then you'll click Done and Publish. Now that I've initially published, I'll still need to go in and publish the changes that I have made as I go back in to edit my site. So you'll see this little arrow here means that I've already published my site. I can go and look at my publish options. But if I were to go and add another image here, change a th few things around, I would just simply click publish again, and that will save the changes that I've made so that those viewing the site can see the updates. It's also important to know how to share the link of your ePortfolio in order to send it to somebody else so that they can see it. You'll notice there's a copy publish site link button right here. If I click on that, that will give me the correct share link and then you choose copy link. Note that I'm on my home page when I'm sharing this link, which is great. If I were to go to a different page, then it's gonna send them the link to that page and then they'd have to click to find my landing home page. So this is where you get the final copied link. You don't wanna just copy and paste the link from the browser because that will be the editing link. So you wanna get that final published link to share. As you share your site, it's important to remember what to include and what to exclude from your ePortfolio. You'll definitely want to include the work that you're proud of, reflections, goals, awards, professional interests, even information about yourself, but you don't want to include specifics such as home address, phone number, student ID number, or any personal information. You'll want to stay away from including maps, um, such as a map to your school or to your house. These are just best practices when it comes to digital citizenship and protecting your privacy.